The Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award is a living tribute to a man whose life seems to have leapt from the pages of a script. They called Irving the boy wonder. He was the son of Jewish immigrants who arrived in Brooklyn with less than a dollar to their name. And before he turned 10, doctors told Irving's parents that he wouldn't live to see 30. They worried about the strength of his heart. What they failed to consider was the power of his creative soul and the depth of his passion. And this is what drove Irving to Hollywood, where he rose to become the head of production for MGM at the elder age of 25, and then went on to produce some 400 films, introducing the world to talent like Joan Crawford, Clark Gable, and Greta Garbo, and helping to create a foundation for the art form that we honor tonight. Along the way, it was Hollywood that introduced Thalberg to the love of his life, his wife, Norma Shearer. So cut to tonight, as we gather to honor the first ever married couple to receive the Thalberg Award. <laughs> My forever friends, the inseparable, the indomitable Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall. Kathy is the first woman ever to receive this award in history. <laughs> which, which is her hallmark, the breaker of glass ceilings wherever she sets her sights, including now as master of the universe and galaxies far, far away. <laughs> and for those of you wondering why it's taken so long for the Academy to celebrate Kathy, with this honor, you should know it's completely her fault because she has been such a faithful Academy officer year after year that she was ineligible until now. <laughs> and of course, it, it didn't always seem so preordained because back in the day before dinosaurs and CGI and otherwise, there was a time when assistants referred to as secretaries, and mine was Kathy. She sat outside my office, and I'd often invite her in to take notes during writer's pitching sessions. But here was the problem. She rarely took a note. As a matter of fact, she often took over the meeting pitching her own ideas, <laughs> which were great. So I hired a secretary for Kathy, and she went from taking notes to taking over. We were a team now, and we were preparing, prepping Raiders of the Lost Ark. And Kathy's title had rapidly risen to associate producer. And it was all going so well, and then I hired a guy named Frank. Because I was looking for a line producer for Raiders, and in walked this handsome hotshot with a resume that would have likely read ski bum, waiter, and guitar player. <laughs> this is the guy who created UCLA's first NCAA soccer team and then played on it. And this is the guy who met Peter Bogdanovich at John Ford's birthday party. You can't make this stuff up. And went off uh, to serve as location manager for The Last Picture Show and for Marty Scorsese's The Last Waltz and then associate producing for Walter Hill. Frank part rogue, part renaissance man. He was a star on the rise, and in his blood were the boots on the ground of an online producer, and therefore just the man for this job. So there we were, Frank and Kathy and me. And from uh, Raiders onward, we founded Amble Entertainment, and we made movie after movie together, until one day when I walked into my office and saw the two of them making out on my couch. <laughs> And, and, and for where, from where I stood and what I saw, <laughs> suddenly I'm the third wheel. <laughs> we were still three, but they were two. <laughs> and that spark between them has lit a torch that burns bright in movie history, as you've just seen, 
stories that remind us popular and powerful can live together and do live together in movies that echo across time. And it's important side note to say that Kathy and Frank have also made movies separately. Uh, just one example of many, Kathy's first producing credit was this little film called E.T. And Frank has credits that include all three Jurassic World films, producer of Clint Eastwood's Sully, and as Matt said, the Jason Bourne franchise. And Frank then even donned, uh, before that, his director's cap to film movies like Arachnophobia and Alive. So need I say that this dynamic duo, now married for 31 years, may claim their finest producing effort as their wonderful daughters, Lily and Megan. A, a film historian once described Irving Thalberg as temperate in all his ways of living. In this one respect, he was an, an inveterate gambler. If he believed in a man or a woman or a project or a story, he would stake everything on this conviction. And again and again, Kathy and Frank have been those kind of creative producers, the dreamers who saw in scripts so much of the spark they saw in each other, the power to pull us in with the potential to steal our hearts. So I couldn't be prouder to be their third wheel. <laughs> I couldn't be luckier to be their friend. And I couldn't be more humbled to stand up here tonight to present this year's recipients of the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award to Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall.